Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today I'm going to do a solo playthrough of Bethel Woods, who was designed by Shem Phillips. It was a recent Kickstarter that just came out and let me tell you, the board is beautiful. <laughs> I just, oh man, I could stare at this all day. Love the drawing, looks fantastic. Just like normal, if you would like to just see the playthrough, feel free to check out the video in the playlist after this one, and you can go jump right to the playthrough. Otherwise, stick around and I'll show you how to set up the game. The first thing that you want to do to set up the game is to put the uh, Daydreamer uh, components in the center of the board. Each one of these will have a number on them, well, uh, a picture that shows an amount of tiles that you need to have in order to create that component. You start out with having just needing to have one knowledge, then you'll go to two, three, four, five, six, and so forth. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pile these on top of each other like this. And then whenever you're moving your workers around, if you can move a worker within the city to build one, you'll build this and discard the appropriate knowledge. That's the first thing you wanna set up. The next thing is we have these different uh, looking, I would call them expl uh, malfunctions. That's what they're called, the malfunctions. You're going to grab all six of these and you're going to shuffle them up and you're going to place them around the board and they're going to come into effect if ever you have four malfunctions in any of the different sections. And how the sections are broken out is by these this water and it's just it's so pretty. So this is one section here, that's section three. Over here is section two. This is section one. This right here is section six. Here's section five. And here is section four, okay? Next, you're gonna look in these little areas right here, and that's gonna tell you the workers that are gonna start in that location. So here it says there's a green one and a blue one. So we put our green and our blue workers there. After that, the board is all set up. Next, you just need to determine the people that you want to be. So here we have the seven characters that you can choose to play this game. Technically, it is not a solo game. It is a two to four player, so I'm going to have to play with two characters. The two that I'm going to do are Nova and Harris. So let's look at those two in detail. Over here on the left, we have Nova. Nova's special ability allows her to substitute one knowledge with a different type when constructing the Daydreamer. So normally, whenever you would have to go into the center of the board to create another section of the Daydreamer, you have to discard knowledge all of the same type. She can actually choose one to be different. Pretty awesome. Harris over here, his ability is that he can discard one knowledge to move one worker of the same type to a different machine. Now, this new worker or this worker that he moves does not get to clear any malfunctions, but uh, he can move that before or after he moves his workers around and so then it makes it better for Nova for her turn or he can maybe move one to to make it so he has more workers that he can move in that round. You, you'll see how it works. But those two were the two that I picked and um, I've played with them now I think four times and I've won once and I just feel comfortable with them. <laughs> um, I have not explored the other ones. I think they're going to be cool too. They all have different and very special and unique abilities. Kind of the cool part about this game. So here we have uh, a couple different reference sheets that you can use during the game that are quite helpful. They come with the game. The one on the right just shows you how your turn works. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up all the workers from one machine and then you can move them in a single direction either clockwise or counterclockwise and start um, fixing any of the malfunctions. After that, you will reveal and place three new malfunctions, uh, and if at least one machine goes critical, we'll reveal spies, and these are spies. If ever we reveal have all six on the board, we lose the game, okay? And so this will be off the board for, at the beginning, but unfortunately, they will probably get placed on the board. After that, when you have revealed your spies and all of your malfunctions, you win if you've fully constructed the Daydreamer. And the Daydreamer needs six of the pieces together 
Uh, so we basically have to do six creations or six building actions to win the game. We lose if there are no malfunctions left in uh, the bag when we're trying to place them, or four, four critical machines after any turn, or all six spies on the board at any time. So if we have four critical machines, that's when we have flipped these tokens. If four out of the six of them have been flipped, we lose the game at, at the end of the turn. Or if ever there are six of these spies, all six of them on the board, automatically we lose. The reference sheet on the left right here just tells us what all of the abilities are on these. So I'm not going to read them to you. I will tell you them when they come up. Hopefully they just don't come up and then you just don't have to know about them. <laughs> but I doubt that's going to happen. Last but certainly not least, we're going to set up the board with six malfunction tokens. Uh, let's see. We will grab these. Okay, so we've got a two and a four and a six and a three and a two. One, two, three, four, five. We need one more. That's going to be a five. All right, pretty evenly spaced. Other than that, we are ready to go. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough.